I have to do shockwave therapy again on both feet. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, bunch of holes. Oh, oh, ow, ow, ow. And then Saturday wasn't any better, right. so I told Did you this recover on Monday. Friday, or was it just like bad, just bad, 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 bad? Right. And then on Monday, I told Lisa, and I started crying because she was like, she's like, well, if you want to do this, like, you're just going to have to push through it. And I'm like, well, I know, but I'm just telling you, like, it's just frustrating because I don't know why that side's hurting because it's never really bugged me. And on Saturday, like, I started doing full and dismounts off beam again, so I think it's just been a lot, like, through camp and then, like, trying to push through. You're just loading it. Yeah, because I have to get ready for camp, because then two weeks later is our first meet. Right. Yeah, classic. So, right. this next, like, month is going to be, like, a lot. So, you know. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't stress. Again, this is fully expected. I would actually talked to Dr. Anastasia, and mm -hmm. he said the same thing Lisa said. He was like, honestly... Just keep it rolling. Mm -hmm. He's like, we just maintain. We're probably not going to get rid of it right now. Yeah. Which is, I figured. I was like, I knew probably when I start really pushing it, it might get irritated. You know, it's just kind of. I mean, I'm old. Yeah. And I'm doing a lot of stuff. You're not, you're not old, but you're just loading it a ton. So again, I would say realistically, expect it to be there. Mm -hmm. And if it's there, then we're like, okay, we just deal with it. And then on Monday. I did my first turn on bars and sometimes my hip will get kind of like stuck right here and then I like kind of go like this and it will crack and like whatever, you know? Yeah. And it had this horrible pain. It's kind of feeling somewhat better, but like I couldn't like lift my leg like this. I like couldn't lift it. Right or left? Or left. And so on Monday, Bruce kind of just barely pulled it and it had popped and I was like, oh, okay. But then like it just hurt the whole day. It was weird, but it's kind of feeling better, but it's still like. Yeah. <laughs> so, again, this is. Having weird things happening. Take a step out. Give me a squat. Spread your feet a little bit. Try to get out of there quick. Yeah, that's what I What do you feel? What do you feel stops you? Your feet, your ankles, your hip. Bad. Yeah. I mean, kind of my feet, like the back of them, like trying to get that like yeah. motion down. But then my hips too, that's just some tight. Put your feet together now. That's okay. Well, that's good, I think I'm just more upset because it's moving so good and then it hurts. I'm like, mm. I know. Don't stress though. <laughs> Don't let your brain, because what your brain's going to want to do is freak out. It'll be like, no, what's happening? But don't worry. Really normal. So, toe, heels on the board, toes off the board. So, oh, wait. Come okay, wait. Heels on it, toes heels off? Heels on it, toes off. So, keep coming. Toes on the board. Okay. Now do a squat. <laughs> Does your hip bother you? No. Okay, put your feet together, so stand on one of the blocks. Now squat. Sorry. Elbow straight overhead, now squat. Try to keep the bar directly over your head. Squat down. Now come back up. Your lats are tight too. Put, your, put the bar here. I'll do it. So what, what I would think is it probably is just adaptation over time. Or the tendon is stronger than the bone, and so it pulls the bone off. 
and so it creates these little spurs because it pulls, the bun grows, and then it pulls more and more. Grows. Usually that's what you get when kids are growing. And then it just usually hardens down and it's fine. With you though, it probably is irritating because you're still pushing harder. I have to do shockwave therapy again on both feet as my feet have been hurting me so we're just gonna work the crap out of them is what Jed says. <laughs> like the mid part here or down here? Where I mean when you kind of push right there it hurts a little bit but like I feel like I don't know like when I'm running and stuff I guess I don't know I guess it's like in here. Good. She read on that foot. That's terrible. Do you want me to give it a break before I do this one? Yeah. I don't care. It's up to you. Just go. Alright. <laughs> Get it over with. So you're not changing your diet. What about sleep? Are you sleeping? Yeah, except for last night was or not last night. The night before was torture because we had a freaking be at KTR at like freaking eight in the morning. What's KTR? Can you imagine that though? Eight in the morning. Do you want to explain to him? She's a big morning person. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I took two naps yesterday. <laughs> okay, here it comes. No, I'm not ready. Do whatever you need to do. Oh, yeah. oh, sorry. I'll be your apologizing. <laughs> okay. Yep, you knew. Ow. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh. oh. Mommy. <laughs> I can imagine that this is like what a gunshot would feel like. Expecting some swears out of you. Mm -hmm. It makes you feel any better. I got that done once and it hurt me. So. <laughs> Talk to me about your uh, sales, Jonas. <laughs> so the circumferential compression will cause the blood flow to return a lot better, just increasing blood movement and tissue healing. Because again, the more your blood moves and the more blood you get flowing, the better it's going to heal. But what I'll tell you though is, Literally find 
three to five minutes. Even. We just have to get really consistent on it, especially while you're ramping up training. You're going to be, throughout you'll just be consistently sore. Exhausted. That took a lot of energy to kick and scream and <laughs> not breathe. And you actually got to zero there. So you met your criteria on range. Alright, so what are we going to do now? You're stiff. You okay? Do you remember that stretch we did on the wall where you're yeah. driving your knee toward the wall? We're going to go back to that too. Just to make sure we feel it back here. Okay. You just work into it. And just, again, just small consistency of it. schedule coming up? Um, we have camp at the beginning of May, and then two weeks later we have our first meet. So okay. pretty much just All right. gearing up for that. All right. You guys are plugged in Java Therapy in terms mm -hmm. of, okay. Yeah. So we're going to start, Lisa was talking about doing twice a week just for maintenance. We can figure out what okay. needs to be so done, especially as she's ramping up, she's getting more soreness. Yeah, I, I would say I'd be of the opinion, right? It'd be, now is the time to be a little bit more aggressive in terms of maintenance, right? Mm -hmm. So you may say, well, I don't maybe need it, but I think we can always use it right now. Okay. All right, and figure out schedule and, and stuff like that just to, just to make this work. Okay? okay? All right, well, congrats again. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. just move out here so I'm right here <laughs> since I spend my um so the other day I was at practice which was Monday and last week Friday and Saturday my feet kind of got like really inflamed and were hurting me really bad and it wasn't just the left one that's been hurting it was also the right one which kind of was like freaking me out so on Monday I was like I kind of just like got through Friday and Saturday didn't really say anything to Lisa because I'm, I'm like maybe they're just sore from ramping things up and I had camp and then we've been adding some new stuff back in so on Monday it was still kind of bugging me so I told Lisa about my foot and I'm gonna start ramping therapy back up to twice a week and then maybe going to my other therapist for a third time plus going to the trainer twice a week so my schedule is gonna get kind of crazier here but I think I need it just to keep my feet um, going for the next four or five months that I have left so we're just gonna try to stay on top of it and today I did I had to go back and do shockwave therapy which I was not happy about and I had to do it on both feet and then the right sides never had it so it was like super super painful but hopefully that can help them just stay strong I don't know they've been bugging me so it was kind of hard on Monday I kind of started crying because I was just frustrated um, 
And like Jed said, it's probably just because I am getting older, so it's just getting, you know, harder, more wear and tear on the body, which is kind of sad. Um, just because I've felt like throughout my whole gymnastics career, I've been pretty strong, but now I'm kind of flailing out. <laughs> um, but at least I only have five more months left, and hopefully that everything can just go smooth from here on out. So I just got to stay on top of the therapy and just ice. We got a Norma Tech and a bunch of different tools to have at home so that I can recover quicker. So hopefully that will help on top of everything else. So yeah, I just hope that my body can, can get through this. So just trying to have positive vibes for the next five months, but that's how therapy went today. It was, it was good and painful. I survived. <laughs>